I guess orchids are a fairly cryptic uh, plant in the environment. So they are very sort of isolated in their distribution. They only flower for, most of them only flower for a number of weeks a year. They are one of the most primitive plant groups that we have in Australia, I think in the world as well. And those relationships that they have with their specific pollinators and their relationship with the fungal associations in the ground have obviously evolved over time but have been around for millions of years as well. So yeah, those sorts of things make them a very particular plants in the environment. Were you getting, hey, there's a flower. Were you getting bitten by something? You can see inside. The Shoalhaven's quite unique, I believe, in that it has a high number of endemic orchids that are only found in the Shoalhaven. The, the threatening processes for them are loss of habitat. We've got a number that are threatened in Shoalhaven and there's six of those that are involved in our project in the Partnerships for Protecting Shoalhaven Plants. We're lucky enough to have won a grant from the Environment Trust. It's a 10-year program and that is implementing all of the Saving Our Species actions for these orchids across that, those 10 years and that is in a large way should ensure their conservation in the, in the next sort of 100 years. The types of actions that we're undertaking, there's involvement in the planning process to ensure that areas where these orchids are found are not developed. We're doing like ecological burns, so some of our orchids get outcompeted by um, other shrubs and grasses growing up. We're doing some private, cons private land conservation measures, getting private landholders to conserve part of, their, part of their private land and put that into conservation and manage that area for, for conservation because a lot of our orchids occur on private land. So Terrastylus ventricosa is one of the endemic, endemic orchids from the Shoalhaven, so meaning it's only found here. It's, we're in the uh, population estimate in the order of about four to six hundred individuals that we know from about five or six locations. And it's listed as critically endangered. We're doing some annual surveys for the species and what that allows us to do is really get down on the ground and focus and survey those areas in quite a lot of detail so we make sure we don't miss any individuals and we might be able to learn a little bit more about the species. The community can get involved if they see an orchid um, when they're out bushwalking or just getting out and about in the bush it might even be your local bushland reserve in town if you take a photo and you can send it into the Office of Environment and Heritage and we can um, look to see what, sort of, what species it is and you never know, it might just be an important um, observation. There's a lot of land out there that hasn't been looked at and so there may be more, but these are the ones we know about and they may be all that is there, so we need to do what we can to look after them. <laughs>